Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would take you along with what I eat today. Um, I do follow WW personal points and I am allotted 19 points a day. I also get 28 extra weeklies starting out with and then they build from there depending on my activity level. But that is what I start with and then I figured I would just take you along and show you what I eat today. So for breakfast, this is what I'm having. I'm having three egg cups that I made in my previous video. They are zero points. They are just egg, some seasonings, and some spinach. And then I have a piece of cinnamon toast here. This is the Ezekiel bread, um, which is one point for one slice. And then I have a little bit of butter and some cinnamon sugar, but I don't count the butter or the cinnamon sugar. Um, I just don't like to count it. It's not very much. And then I also have a one banana over here that I need to eat, so um, that will be zero points as well. So total, this is just a one point breakfast. Okay, so it is time for my lunch, and I think for lunch today I'm going to have a buffalo chicken wrap. Um, so I will show you how I make that. Okay, so for my wrap, I use these La Banderita carb counter wraps. And then I have a couple chicken tenders that I cooked yesterday in the oven. Um, these are the Purdue Simply Smart um, breaded gluten-free chicken tenders. They're so good. Um, I also have some grape tomatoes here. I have pickles. I have some um, red bell pepper and some cucumbers I'm going to put on it. And then I also have this salad mix that I made the other day. Um, and it just has like 50-50 spring mix and then broccoli slaw on top. This is so good and it adds so much veggies in. Um, I'm going to put this on my wrap as well. And then I may even do like a side salad of it. I have some green, bean green beans in there from the other night that I need to eat first. But I might eat those for dinner and then just use this for lunch. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm going to start assembling this wrap. Okay, with the tortilla and the chicken, I'm gonna pop this in the microwave real quick just to warm it up. Okay, so here's my lunch. This is the wrap. It is absolutely huge, but it is so filling. Like, this will last you until dinner. I promise. It's so filling. You won't need a snack. You may need a snack, depending on the day. <laughs> I may need a snack later. But anywho, it is so good. And then I did decide to go with the green beans, because we are going to be having enchiladas tonight for dinner. So I figured I could have a salad with that instead of the green beans. I figured it would go a little bit better. But I also wanted to show this. This is what I normally drink if I'm feeling like I need um, something carbonated. I love soda, and that's part of my problem. But... Um, if I feel like I need a soda, this is really good. I just add a little bit of lemon juice into it. Um, I normally cut a lemon in half and then do about half a lemon in a cup with ice, and it is so good. But I don't think I'm going to drink it today for lunch. I just wanted to show you. I'm, I have my water over here, and then this is my lunch. Okay, so I just got done adding in my points, and I wanted to share with you how much this lunch was. Um, so for the wrap, let me open this up and I'll share it with you. Uh, the La Banderita carb counter one wrap is two points, and then the Purdue Simply Smart breaded chicken breast tenders for two pieces, it's four points. So there are six points there. I did add one point back for the veggies I have in the wrap, and then one point back for my green beans, because there's at least two cups of veggies here. So I added two points back, and then the 
I forgot to, about my ranch. Uh, let me figure that up real quick. Okay, so for the ranch, one serving of the ranch is two tablespoons, which I think I used about one tablespoon is what I'm gonna count, which is two points. So let's track that. And then that makes my lunch total eight points. And then I got one back for the green beans and one back for the veggies in here. So technically it's a six point lunch, which is amazing. And with what I've ate today with breakfast and lunch, I have 13 points left. So normally I will have some sort of, of a snack either between lunch and dinner or between dinner and bedtime um, depending on how hungry I am and then we'll have dinner. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I just got done with lunch and I was wanting something kind of sweet which normally I get either some candy or some coffee um, and today I decided to get a cup of coffee so I'm going to make it right here. I have filled this little mason jar up with some ice and then I just use the Stoke cold brew coffee and I fill it up to to about there. It's a pretty full cup and then I just take a little bit of half and half I'll try to hold this up so you can see it I love it when it does that it's so pretty and then after the half and half I just use some of this caramel macchiato Starbucks creamer there you go and I just put a little splash in, about like that. And then I just stir it all together. Needs a little more creamer. So that is my sweet coffee. Normally I just drink black coffee that I make in the Chemex. I mean, I normally drink that in the morning if I want something hot, but if I'm feeling something sweet or wanting like a cold coffee, then this is, this is what I make. And it's super, super low points. So I love going to like a coffee shop and getting a coffee, but the coffee that I get is like 14 points and it's absolutely ridiculous and I hate it. So I save up all my weeklies and then on the weekend, I try to go get like a special coffee. That's like really good. Um, but this is what I make in the meantime and it's low point. So for a serving of this, it's two points and then a serving of this is two points. So it's a four point coffee. I left my fridge open and it was digging at me, sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's a four point coffee, so it's super cheap compared to other coffees and it's just something, a nice little treat to have during the day, I think. Okay, so it is dinner time and I'm getting started on making that. I am making chicken enchiladas tonight, which I don't like canned enchilada sauce. <laughs> so I make my own and what I do is I use this um, tomato sauce. And then I mix it with a pack of mild taco seasoning. And that's what I call my enchilada sauce. Um, but I just have it mixed up right here. And then I'll start assembling our enchiladas. Okay, so what I do to assemble my enchilada is I go ahead and start with my chicken over here. <laughs> Sorry, that's the oven. Uh, loading this back up with some chicken and you can really just pack it full because chicken is zero points and you want to make sure that they're good in filling. Um, so we pack ours pretty good with chicken and then I have a 14 ounce or no I'm sorry gram 14 gram serving of cheddar cheese or not cheddar sorry I use the Fiesta blend uh, 14 gram serving of that 
which a full serving is 28 grams and it's five points um which if you have the points to use you definitely could do a full serving of cheese but we like to cut down on our points so we just do half a serving of our fiesta blend cheese and then in mine i do put in some of these green chilies i i really like these that gives it kind of a spice but it's a real mild spice um Sh sawyer will eat this but sean will not so i leave them out of his but that's basically what i do and then i'll roll it up like this and then we'll just line our baking dish with this once i get it completely filled then i will dump the enchilada sauce on top Okay, so I decided to add a little bit more of the Fiesta Blend shredded cheese on top, and I don't think we're gonna count this as extra points. Sean does Weight Watchers with me as well, which he gets a lot more points than I do, but um, I think we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this cheese on top, and we're not gonna count it as extra points. All right, and now I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, so here is what my dinner looks like. I've got my side salad here, which will give me a point back in veggies. I do have a two point serving of ranch on here. I also have some riced cauliflower with a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, this will also give me a point back in veggies. So there's two points back. And then this is my enchilada. Um, and it is for the tortilla, it is two points. And then the cheese serving was two points. So um, total, it's a six point dinner and then I get two points back. So it would be four points total. Okay. So it is later at night and I'm in need of a snack. So, um, Sean has made me a snack. It is a six point total snack, which I only had five points left for the day. So I did end up going over one point of my points today but that's fine because it does come out of my weekly so it is okay but this snack is delicious so let me show you okay here it is and this is what sean made me it is a uh, individual bag of the skinny pop popcorn and that is two points and then he drizzled some milk chocolate over top of it and that is a three point serving of chocolate and then he also crunched up some pretzel thins on top which that was about four pretzels and that is two points total so or no i'm sorry one four pretzels is one point so then still went over my points by one but this is absolutely delicious but i am going to sit down and enjoy this snack i just got out of the shower my hair is still wet i just threw it up i look crazy but i have all day <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay um so i'm gonna eat this snack i'm gonna brush my teeth and then i am heading to bed but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some ideas if you are on ww or if you're just looking for something new to eat um if it did i hope you liked this video um thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>